Hello and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market, brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. As always, please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. In addition, I'd like to remind you guys that each and every single week, Pristine offers several free webinars that you can register for and attend as many as you'd like you can check out the full schedule at www.pristine.com but here you can see a sample of what we've got coming up this week so again hopefully we'll see you there and uh, there's no cost to join you can have any and all of your questions answered that, that you are thinking about as it relates to markets and uh, again we just have a good time and and uh, talk shop so hopefully again we'll see you there as far as what's going on here in the Forex market, starting as we always do in the upper left with Euro US dollar, this one's been bouncing around. Ever, you know, we had the ECB comments or, or rate decision, Draghi's comments came out, a lot of volatility within within that day, within that uh, window of time. But since then, really things have just fizzled out and not much going on. Uh, price has been pulling back on top of a little bit of support and as you can see this moving average here so we'll see if buyers don't step up there but as far as a trend goes really don't have anything in place uh, so time will tell really just getting bounced around between uh, the the upper part of this range here just for round numbers we'll say uh, 0 0.1305 and down here around 1.0819 so that's kind of the range we're dealing with here but no no real commitment one way or the other so just playing the intraday momentum uh, if you like how it sets up moving on over to Aussie dollar US dollar this one did have a pretty nice move up here as you can see and recently or today it's it's starting to pull back in here coming into a little support so we'll have to see how it responds how it behaves here and uh, and if buyers start stepping up maybe you get a trade out of it on an intraday basis as far as the daily chart is concerned though I'm not crazy about it but again, we'll see how it how it develops, at least for a trade off of support. If it sets up the right way, it, it could be interesting. And then we've got New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar, which is in the upper right hand corner and just all over the place. It really can't get out of its own way. You've got the moving averages just crossing over price, which is a real good indication that not much exciting is going on, at least from a directional point of view so this one for the most part you stay away from unless you get a real good intraday opportunity off of support or off of resistance there's not a whole lot to do so um, be careful with this one if you're going to trade it like I said make sure you're trading it off of a level and it's a good quality setup otherwise there, there's probably better out there Moving on down to US dollar yen, this one here seems to be trying to carve out a bottom and, and I say that because every attempt to move lower has failed. So this tells me that buyers are starting to step up more, more decisively and there is some room to move higher. So that's something I'm going to be watching for this coming week is to see if we do break out and if we do, I will certainly go with that momentum and see if we can't get some, some nice follow through higher. At the same time, however, I will note that larger time frames are a bit more bearish, and so there is still some, some vulnerability in any upside. Uh, you've got a little minor support over here that we want to be aware of, so while I will play this long if it does start to break out, I'm also going to be aware of the fact that, hey, I want to pay attention to what's going on here because that could result in the the larger time frame traders starting to try and position themselves short so something to watch for US dollar Canadian dollar this one's been bleeding down as it as we've discussed in prior videos it is into support and really just trying to find out where where the bottom or at least the short term bottom is going to be I do believe that it will find some support within this area it's just a question of when and at this point it really has not set itself up yet so we'll have to be patient we'll have to see what happens but you know the downside is limited because of the support it's just been a bleed lower which makes it difficult to really stick with it so um, just be patient here and then finally pound US dollar this one had a pretty strong move up off the low but right into resistance uh, 
which is why we're getting the supply coming in today. But at the same time, the move up here has created some support that it's going to be trying to hold based on. So it's it's a bit of a, a catch-22 here, which is, the, which is the same thing with a lot of these... Uh, you know, these pairs, a lot of these things don't look that great. Uh, there, there's some movement. And for that reason, I'm going to be more focused on just playing the intraday momentum, the intraday trend. And if it follows through into the next day, then I'll stick with it. But I'm not really excited uh, about these daily patterns necessarily. And so, like I said, for that reason, my focus will be more on looking for intraday trends to develop to get long and or short. And, and then just go with that trend. If it keeps me in the trade for, for a day or two, great. If not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stick around to see what it does. So that's going to be my bias. Hopefully this has helped you create a bias for yourself as well. But as always, stay patient, stay disciplined, and stay confident.